Hi everyone, this is a video on how to make a dice on Onshape. There are a couple of ways that you can make a dice. I'm just going to show you one of two ways. Um, just make sure that you do it the right size that you need it um, for whatever project that you're doing. So I'm going to draw on the front plane. I'm going to go to sketch and I'm actually going to use a center point rectangle and click on the center dot and click and then before I do anything else I'm going to type in what measurement I want so for this I'm going to make a 30 by 30 mil cube so 30 enter 30 enter and then extrude that and I'm actually going to do a symmetrical extrude and also make that 30 and then green tick so essentially that's just a 30 by 30 cube um, now, if I wanted to, I could add like a little chamfer or a curved fillet to this. Um, so if I wanted to do the entire thing, I could just click and drag. So it highlights the whole dice and then click on fillet. And maybe just make it a two mil fillet, just a little bit. Go OK. Um, that'll do the same thing for a chamfer as well. It just depends on what you want it to look like. Uh, and now I can basically add all the details to the sides. So if I click on one of the sides and then go sketch and press N, so I'll look onto that. Uh, I can either use um, circles to make like dots on the dice, or I could add text and put like a number one, two, three, uh, or whatever it is that I would like. Um, so I might do a uh, text and then do a dot on the other side to show you the difference. So if I want to add text, I just have to use the text button, which is here. And then I want to click on the bottom left and then top right. So roughly the size of what you want the number to be, or if you've got a letter or something, you can put the letter in. Um, I'm just going to do one and I'm going to make that bold. And then you can also play around with all the different fonts as well. It shows your preview of what it's going to look like just below it. So maybe just pick something that you'd like the look of. Um, probably bold is better because it just makes it a bit wider. So when you're happy, green tick. And then I can grab, and so click and drag one of these little circles on the outside. And that is, the, that is somehow you can um, move the text box around. Or if it's the wrong size, you could add a, te um, a dimension button. So you click on the dimension button, add a dimension to one of these lines. So if I click on the um, this line, I can make that, for example, 20 mil, uh, and that'll resize the whole thing. So then once I've got it the right size, then I could also move it um, again where I would like it, more or less in the middle. And then I need to extrude that. So whether it's extruded out or removing a little bit of material. So if I look at it from the side, so one or two mil or 1.5 mil, just something around that. So either if you're going to add it, so it's, it's sticking out on the dice or remove a little bit of material that also works quite well. So green tick that. Uh, and then you would do that same process for all the sides. Um, or the alternative is just to do like a, a dot, for example, like a normal dice. So let's say I do like a, a 10 mil circle and then extrude that same sort of thing, either remove or add, just a couple of mil, for example. And then again, I could do that for all the other sides. If I maybe wanted to make it in the center, let's say I want to do like three, I can draw a construction line through like a diagonal and then uh, use my circles. Um, just make sure that they're all the right size or the same size. And same as adding a dimension to the number, you can use the dimension button again and make maybe this distance a certain distance that I want. And 
I could do the same on the other one. And then again, when I'm done and happy, I just want to extrude that either out or in just a couple of mil. So then you just repeat that process for all six sides of your dice. 